We've got the rule. Here's the next example. Charlotte's been nominated. Off you go. So what am I going to write in the brackets? Mm-hmm. Yeah, added one onto the power. Yeah, that's right. Times by the coefficient of x and that, and I heard you say as well the plus c. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so the final answer there, 7x plus 10 to the power of 6 over 42 plus c. That's right. Okay. Charlotte, who's going to do the next one before you've even seen it? James's. Okay. <laughs> okay, James, Ooh. there is your question. Ooh. Right, what do you think it might be useful to do first? <laughs> How do we start off on the trickier differentiation ones? Uh, yeah, you try and write it so it fits the rule. So what's going to be inside the bracket? It will be 2 minus x. It will be 2 minus x inside the bracket. It's going to be 2. You've got a square root, and it's at the bottom of a fraction. Yes, OK. The half deals with the square root. The minus deals with it being on the bottom of the fraction. And there's a 4 that's multiplied by it. OK. So... Change into that, first of all. That fits the rule. Now, what I want to tell you here is if you just have a number here in front of the bracket, like the last time we said it stays there, what can you do with the number? Cancel out some stuff. Maybe later on. But just to say, it just moves through the integral sign. It's the easiest way of doing it. If it's just a number, move it through the integral sign, and then you haven't got to worry about it in the integration bit. Okay, so what I did there was just move the number through the integral sign. Okay, right now, James, you may want to rewrite this bracket again. Oh. I'm actually going to encourage you to rewrite that bracket again, so it fits the rule a bit better. Yes, okay. Some people might prefer to do that and even write minus 1 in there, okay? Just so it fits the rule a little bit better because now it's A, X plus your B. So, forget about the 4 for a minute. Mm -hmm. We'll deal with that in a minute. Can you integrate that then using the rule? Um, you've got minus X plus 2 in brackets at the start. Uh, 2 to the power of half. Yeah, you're adding a whole <coughs> 1 on to minus a half which takes you up to plus a half. Minus 1 from there, minus yep, half. and the new power. Yep, yep. I'll, I'll simplify that in a minute. That's right, okay. Then, what are we going to do when we integrate between limits? You take one away. Yeah, so we use a square bracket notation. And that 4 at the front just still stays there. What don't I need to write at the end, Callum? Plus C. Plus C, yeah, okay. Because it's a definite integral. Don't need to put the plus C on the end. So, inside the square brackets, James, you were going to rewrite that, I think, more nicely, if you like. How can we rewrite just that thing more nicely? Um, minus x plus 2 in brackets. What's a nicer way of writing just, just that bit there? That bit there. We had it earlier on. Did we? Yep. Yeah. Two yeah. But inside the bracket, the bracket yeah. it's nicest way of writing that is just 2 minus x. The power of a half? Yeah. Oh, square, root. square root. Okay. And on the bottom, minus a half. Okay, so we can get it like that. Everybody happy up to that point? No. We can move something through something here as well. What can we move through where? 
I, I keep if it's outside. I keep it outside. I can move something else. I can move. That's just a number. I can move it through the square brackets as well. Okay. So you can also move a number if it's just a multiplying number through the square bracket as well. Okay. So my next line I will have four, and that's on the bottom, divided by minus a half. Then inside here I've got 2 minus x square rooted between 0 and 1. And what's 4 divided by minus a half? Uh, minus yeah, 4 divided by minus half is minus 8. So you get minus 8, 2 minus x square rooted in the brackets between 1 and 0. Can I just a little bit further? Uh, Go on then, ask your question. Yeah, and I was just wondering why we're dividing by minus half. Because it was on the bottom of the fraction at that stage there. So you're not, you're not tying it to get rid of it. You're just, you're just I'm literally just moving it, yeah. Okay, I've just, just slid it along the same level, if you like, of the fraction, just outside. Right, so here we go. Uh, I need to substitute in then. So the brackety bit, the square brackety bit, when I put x is 1 in, and then I need to put x is 0 in, and then all of that has to be multiplied by the minus 8. So that's probably the best way of writing that down. I've done the substitution. I've changed it first of all to a 1. Then I've changed the x to a 0. I'm doing a taking away between them. And then the whole thing is times by minus 8. 2 take away 1, all square rooted, is 1. 2 minus 0, all square rooted, is sorry, root 2. And I have a minus 8 at the front. Can I write that down finally using less ink? What, um, is it actually using less ink? Technically not. Minus 8 plus 8. Yeah. Yeah. If, you, if, you tie, if you expand the brackets out, then it would be minus 8 plus 8. I don't like minus signs at the front. Can I get rid of that minus sign at the front? Eight. This is an optional step. Thank you, Patrick. It's the first one I heard, yeah. If you times both bits by minus 1, if you times the left-hand bit by minus 1, and if you times the right-hand bit by minus 1, which means you swap both the signs, the minus becomes a plus and the plus becomes a minus, they are the same with each other. What I've done there, I've times both bits by minus 1. If you multiply that, you get the same thing. Because here you'd have had minus 8 times by 1, which is... Oh, sorry, that should have been a minus. So I needed to swap the sign. That plus needed to become a minus. Okay? So minus 8 you'll still get, and the minus minus making a plus bit there you still get as well. That was an option. You didn't have to go that far. That was the answer for that one. Yep, it was. But we've got another eight minutes left by my reckoning where we can do another one as well. You could multiply that out, but usually if you keep it in brackets, that's fine. That's a minus there, if anyone's asking. Right. Okay, moving on. The last one, I think, of the day, possibly. Maybe not. Thanks for two more. Right, let's call this one number three. This one shouldn't be as long. Right, um, suggestion for doing something first. Get rid of three. That three can slide straight through. Hang on. What a. Hmm. That two can also slide straight through. They're just numbers. Okay? So, you, as long as you have them in the right position, the right level, they can just go through the integral sign. Now, at the moment, I don't want this a, fra a bracket on the bottom. So how can I rewrite that? I'm sure that didn't come out on the recording, Callum. Right, how can I rewrite that? Yes, I can just put a minus power there, which deals with it being on the bottom. Okay? I think we should make Callum do this question now, finish it off. Do the integration, Callum. Do the integration bit. integration, it would be that in the brackets you have 4x... Plus one to the power of minus three. Yep. 
on the bottom it'd be four times minus three. Yep. Okay, that's right. I'm going to put that in a set of brackets. The three over two at the beginning mustn't be forgotten. And what else mustn't I forget? Plus C. Okay, any questions about that bit? Right, now, what is four times minus three? Yeah, and that minus 12 can just go through the bracket, okay, because it's just a number, and it has to go with the 2 on the bottom. So I'm going to get 3 over 2 times by minus 12 minus 24, minus an eighth. which is the same as minus an eighth, yes. And then all I'm left with here then is the 4x plus 1 to the minus 3 plus c. The question didn't have a minus power, so how can I rewrite that without the minus power? 1 over 4x plus 1 cubed. Now we've said, I haven't got anything on my top yet, I've got to write it in. This was minus 1 eighth. I'll put the minus 1 on the top, the 8 on the bottom, and my plus c. Okay? I reckon we've got time to do one more, which really is going to be the final one. Okay? That's the end of that question. That's the end of it, yeah. Here we go. Next one. I am going to nominate myself to do this one. You can take the eight outside... Yes, OK. That I've done wrong, deliberately, OK. That's a mistake that I do see sometimes, OK. That 8 was on the bottom. It cannot go there, OK. That 8, if it goes through, has still got to be on the bottom. So you can take it through, but you have got to write it like that as your first step, OK. It is a mistake that sometimes people make, which is why I wanted just to make that mistake and point it out, OK. Then, you keep the 8th there. How will you rewrite 1 over x squared? Um, x to the minus two. Yeah, OK, and you can go on from there. Right, now, I just want to make a note, you see, that you can now do exercise 4C, and you can now also do miscellaneous exercise 4. Actually, you can do the whole chapter. Yes.